Welcome to You Mount Attack Theory. Hi, John Reinhardt. I'm going to be your instructor today, and we're going to go on the exciting adventure of remounting a deer head. You know, a lot of deers need remounting. They just get kind of old. This one I loaned out to a company, a sports shop, and they hung it in their front window for three years. I really didn't pay attention to it. And when I went to pick the deer up, it turned into a beige deer. So it's time to remount a deer. But a little clue there are three things that can destroy a deer head. One, we just told you, sun. Two, well, cigarettes, so be aware of that in your home. And three, hanging next to Joe Bar and Grill, right next to the deep fryer, they'll wreck it every time. So, and besides, in a bar, you got cigarettes too. So, be cautious with your trophies. Take good care of them. So, I'm going to roll up my sleeves. We come back, we're going to start remounting my trophy of a lifetime. You Mounted Taxidermy is brought to you by Reinhardt 3D Targets. Beating the competition 18 to 1. And by Reinhardt Taxidermy Institute. Get a new career today. Well, welcome back. We're at the U Mounted Taxidermy Television Studio and we're in the Reinhardt Taxidermy Institute. I'm John Reinhardt and we're going to talk about this deer for a minute. You notice there's ribbons on this deer. Well, this is a deer I mounted for the International Guild of Taxidermy. International winner. Best of category, blue ribbon. And you know, this deer was the first deer on my production of the Eisright mannequins. You know, Eisright was a patent that I came up with, which was to build mannequins with eyes already preset, preset so accurately. It was a revolution in taxidermy. I had made deer head mounting easier and more practical, not only for taxidermists, but for the American sportsmen. So, beautiful trophy deer. Unfortunately, this deer was hung in the front window and obviously it turned beige. So my trophy of a lifetime is going to get remodeled. Actually, it's going to get remounted. Well, before you start remodeling, you got to tear down. So let's start taking this bugger apart. And I'm going to start down the back. So I'm going to turn the deer around. And we're going to start by obviously removing the skin. Now this is not going to be an easy job. This is a little tough. Whoops. Get a start here. All right, it's all removed. We pulled out all the staples. Time to go down the back. We're going to start with the seam and just work my knife up the back and on the seam. Again, pulling leather. Can hide from side to side. This is opening up rather nicely. All right, let's start. There, there we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Nice bond for the height paste. Look at this. Is, this is good. This is good to see. It's something, you know, one of the height paste I use in my, in my school here. And it's holding real, real good. Right. Let's work on that. Ah, there, that's what I want to see. Right there. Past the ear and down the face. Oh, my goodness gracious. I even got past the eye. Oh, it looks terrific. All right. Well, this is the eyes right process, and it still looks good 30-some years later. But that's as far as I'm going to go. I'm going to cut off the face now. And uh, the actual muzzle, which is the front part here, is going to be soaked in water overnight so it rehydrates and it'll come off nice and smooth. We're going to have a mannequin ready to remount. Well, our cape is soaked overnight. It's nice and soft. It hydrated as good as it did 25 years ago when I mounted this. So we're going to carefully peel it off. Ah, it's coming out of the nose real nice. Excellent. I'm going to be able to use this mannequin. Well, let's see how they sit on. Everything wants to drop in. Remember, this has already been mounted once. I've even got a reference mark up on the forehead that is lining up perfectly. And since I've got my old Phillips head screws, heaven's sake, let's use them again. And we'll run a couple screws in. Go. 
These are fiberglass ears, you can't buy them anymore, but they're still working great, so we're going to use the original ears also. I don't have any fancy earbuds on them, but that's okay. We'll use clay. All right, that's looking good. Always remember to build up in the back of the antlers good, and that's where a lot of taxons don't put the clay up there, and, and then it uh, pulls away when you mount it. All right, hey, that deer's ready to mount, and I didn't do anything. All right, capes ready. We'll start on the ears. And we've all seen ears, so I'm going to uh, bondo the ears. But uh, right now, we're going to come back. I'll have this all ready to go, and we're going to remount my trophy of a lifetime. Welcome to Reinhardt Taxidermy Institute's training facility. Every detail is designed to teach you taxidermy. Individual work areas. Airbrushing systems, small classes, evening seminars, free in-school housing with kitchen, Reinhardt Taxidermy Institute. More instruction, less cost. Call today, 1-877-BUSHBUCK for your free institute catalog. Hi, John Reinhardt with Reinhardt Taxidermy Institute. At age 21, I was a janitor. Then I trained with a professional taxidermist. Starting out part-time, I improved my life. A couple of years later, I was doing full-time what I loved, taxidermy, with freedom to spend time hunting and fishing and with my family. What's your janitor job? I can get you out. Call today, 1-877-BUSHBUCK for your free Reinhardt Taxidermy Institute catalog.